So in, a, in an office environment, desktop PCs tend to get placed somewhere and then sort of forgotten about. And Absolutely. there's a point where those machines uh, need, some, need some attention. Yeah. Is it a better idea to try and upgrade and up, update that PC or is it better to just replace it? You know, a decision has to be made and it depends on whether you have resources on hand and they have available time or not. Usually not the case. <laughs> and yeah. it's usually less expensive because of the time savings on the labor alone to just go out and roll out new computer equipment, new desktops, laptops, whatever it is. And by the way, laptops are a huge thing right now in corporate environments. Laptops with docking stations and some monitors on your desk, but then you can take your laptop, you're flexible, you're portable, you can move, you can do work at home, work at your PC, you can do shared desktop environments. You know, if people are, if a lot of people with the pandemic realize that they can need less office space and they can do shared environments, the point of the matter is it's probably less expensive to get new hardware and everybody will be happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everybody. I mean, will it's be certainly happy. not a problem to replace a hard drive if one fails or to upgrade a video card if that's necessary for somebody's role, but for the most part, the amount of time and energy spent sourcing, prepping, yeah. downtime on the machine while it's being updated or repaired, the equivalent just buying a desktop that suits the needs of that role absolutely going to be an easier an easier pill to swallow. Now, moving out of the corporate environment into the home environment, the, the joke there is always printers. You got a printer problem or it needs a new toner and drum set. Well, if you need a new toner cartridge, it's clear what you do. You yeah. go into the store, you look for the toner cartridge, and then you buy the nearest printer that comes with a toner cartridge. Yeah, because it's actually less Because it's less money than buying a toner uh, cartridge. I mean, that's how they get you, is the consumables. Isn't that true? Yeah. Ink. <laughs> don't get me started on that. Yeah, me. don't get them started on that. But even toner, uh, you can buy a lot of OEM, like um, no name toner packages yeah. on Amazon or wherever you happen to buy your stuff. Uh, but you have to be careful because some of the printer companies are getting really fancy with their chips There's, that they're there putting is, in there. There is, what is the equivalent of copyright protection? Do you remember the old days when you, played, <laughs> when you played a VHS and if you, if you had a VHS tape and you copied it and tried to play it again, it wouldn't work on some players? Or, C or DVDs that you would borrow and duplicate, they wouldn't run. Yeah, printer cartridges are like that now. Yeah. So if you pick up a printer that uses that digital rights management sort of process for cartridges, you can't even refill them. Yeah. So eyes, eyes open, buyer beware, all that stuff. But, yeah. but it's, a, it's a business decision, but there's <laughs> something to be said about it. Now, on that note, I dislike the material consumer consumables yeah. that we have gotten into when it comes to technology yeah. and people like to throw it away. There are many organizations, check locally in your, uh, where you live, yes. that will gladly pick up your old electronics and redeploy it or do something with it, recycle it, whatever it is. They will gladly do that because there's value to other people and time is not an expense to them. Yeah. Most of those, uh, most of those um, organizations rely on volunteer support um, and repurposing, repurposing PCs, repurposing peripherals. Um, and if not repurposing, if they can't be repurposed, then they're properly broken down for recycling. Yeah. Um, it, it, computer hardware is a nightmare for the environment. We've seen it is. that. It is. And you pay for it when you purchase products. Um, being able to sort of put those back into the, into the system uh, through recycling is, is always a good idea. So uh, if you had to Google something uh, as a final tip, it would be, they usually call themselves Electronics uh, Recycling Association or something like that. So Google it, check it out in your neighborhood. They'll gladly come to your location and pick it up from you. You don't even have to go anywhere. Yeah. There you go. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of the bell to be notified. And we'll see you in the next episode. Ding, ding.